Oh, hey, Emma. Hey, Cedric, what's up? We're just about to have that fish dinner that we caught right here in town. Me feeding my family. Can you believe it? My dad now wants to take me fishing. Sweet, huh? Really? What brought that on? First off, he saw our fish pictures and got super excited. Then he started telling me about him fishing years ago. You should have seen his face. Now he's taking me fishing up north. Sweet, huh? Oh, cool. Oh, I gotta go. Dinner's ready. But don't forget to send me some pictures. Good afternoon. How can I help you today? Hi. We are very serious anglers, and we were wondering if there was a good spot to go fishing around here. The National Forest has like 600 lakes, so I think we can find you a spot. 600? Yeah, the Suamiga Nicolay is about 1.5 million acres, so those 600 lakes are spread all over the forest, plus we have about 2,000 miles worth of rivers on the forest. There's got to be a fish in one of those. There are lots of fish to be had, you just got to get out there and try it. This looks great. Can you tell me about the fees? Majority of our sites on the forest, you don't have to pay a fee. It just depends on what amenities are there. So if it's a nice boat ramp with a nice boat dock and a bathroom, um, we do charge a use fee for that area. Tell me about the camping fees after we're fishing all day and if we want to just put up our tent. Same thing, the Schwamiga Nicolay has more than 50 developed campgrounds. There's lots of places to go and the fees are charged based on what amenities are there. So if you wanted a nice flush toilet, obviously you're going to pay a little bit more for that. But we also have dispersed sites, so if you're looking for a really wild experience, I would recommend one of those dispersed sites. Then it's just you and the forest. Look at how remote this spot is. We're going to catch all kinds of fish. It's going to be so much fun. Wow, Dad. This place looks great. But what are we going to use for bait? Oh, hi there. Good morning, guys. So if this is your first time on this lake, you're going to want to know what's in it. And I'll tell you, it's, it's bass and bluegill, and there are a lot of them. It's a bit breezy today, so I see you've got a canoe here. You're going to probably want to go to the other side of the lake. It's a little bit out of the wind. it would be a little easier for you guys to fish. You're going to want to look for a structure, like we got these lily pads here. I see there'll be some on the other side. And those, those down trees in there, bass are going to be hiding in those for sure. You can find some more areas like that to fish all around this lake. Bass? Now you're talking my language. But what lure do I use? Well, it's getting kind of late in the summer, and so the water's cooling off, so they're really going to be biting pretty well. What did you guys bring? We have worms. We have live worms, and then the guy at the bait shop told us to use these plastic worms. Oh, those, those might really work. Uh, I had to make sure my dad got his license. <coughs> Are there any other regulations we need to do, since this is a national forest? Well, the lakes and streams on the national forest have the same regulations that you'll find anywhere else in the state. So you just have to be paying attention to how big the fish have to be by species. There's one regulation you always need to pay attention to if you're in a boat or a canoe, and that's having a PFD. Do you know what that is? Personal flotation device. <laughs> I learned that one from my friend Emma. Never leave home without it and always wear it. People come this far, what's high on their list? Muskie going to have to be about at the top, but walleye is pretty popular too because they're so good to eat. Mm, sounds like a fish dinner to me. Now I think you guys have everything you need for a good day on the lake. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Dad. Now that we got all the information, let's go fishing. Peaceful out here, Dad. Gorgeous, buddy. Saw a little thing jump. That's the beauty of fishing. If you don't catch anything, you're out here in this incredible environment. Mm -hmm. Usually hanging out with someone you like. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a gallon. one. Whoa, we 
What you got? I don't know. I don't know. What is he? Whoa. What is it? I can't tell. Can you? I think it's a largemouth bass. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is huge. Holy smokes. Whoa. 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 <laughs> look at that thing. Oh, look at that bugger, buddy. Jeez, look at that me. thing. Beautiful, huh? We let him go? Yeah. Did that guy come out of the water? I didn't see it, but I heard it. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Dad, I think there's some rocks here we could fish. I've heard they love it here. So it drops off and there's rocks and they want to be there? Why do they want to do that? There might be crayfish or worms down there and they're trying to get at them. Ah. All right, let's catch them, buddy. Maybe you'll catch a rock bass. Real funny. <laughs> got one. You got one, buddy? I think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. There he is. Wow. Look at that guy. You got him okay? Look at that. Turn around, let me see him. All right, now hold him up. He's cool. Very cool. Can we let him go? See, that's a fish normally right there. It's a perfect cast into those little reeds. That should be a fish right there. I, I got what's that? Oh! Did he come off? They jumped for him, yeah. Check out the trees. It's starting to turn. That one looks pink. They're really pretty, aren't they? Super. You got one? Yep. Little guy? Oh, he's jumping. <laughs> oh, he's he's tough. <laughs> All right, great job, buddy. Not bad. Woohoo! You are a pro. Thanks. Let's see him. Hold him up. Nice. Yeah, he's way too small though. Bye, buddy. Why do you think we're catching him all of a sudden, buddy? I don't know. I think it's because we found the right structure and the right depth and we're using the right bait. All right. I'll follow your lead. You just tell us where to go. <laughs> uh, Dad, I think I got one. Another one? Uh, whoa! <laughs> awesome, buddy. Look at that guy. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. <laughs> what kind is that? This is a largemouth bass. Oh, I might have something. I think I got one, buddy. A double, buddy. What, for real? Yep, yep. Yeah, buddy, look at that. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> we're on them, buddy. We both got our own bass. Yeah, <laughs> we're on them. Look at that, buddy. I think, I think, you, I think, you, I think you got me, though. I think yours is bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy. I'm gonna let mine go, Dad. Okay, buddy, go ahead. So I guess I wasn't as rusty as I thought. <laughs> guess
Guess not. Fishing's kind of like riding a bike, buddy. You never really forget. You know, Cedric, I certainly am not going to remember the end of every day at work, but I'm definitely going to remember the end of this day. Yeah. Dad, you know what the best part of this day's been for me? What's that, buddy? Hanging out with you. Yep, I like hanging out with you too. That's been fun. Look over your shoulder. Look at the sun on the lake. Cedric, it's time to get going, buddy. It's been really fun, but we've got to hit the road. Aw, well, my teacher's going to be really surprised. Surprised about what? That I got two fishing coaches out of retirement. Retirement? I wasn't retired. I just forgot how fun fishing is. And now it's really fun that I have my new fishing partner. So, the next time you want to chill, have a blast, and make lasting memories in nature with friends or family, make it your mission to go fishing. Maybe we can, maybe we can fish a little bit more. Well, yeah. I saw one jump over there. Yeah, let's go catch it. organizations have provided funding for this Into the Outdoors television series.